Hi everyone, this is Tom and I've got Brent from the Certified Security Team with us. And we want to walk through a demonstration of not necessarily a new technology, but a technology that is being used to spoof the actual phone that you think you're communicating with. Uh, and the company that we're going to profile today is called Spoof Card. So what Spoof Card allows anyone to do from anywhere in the world is you can put in a phone number that you want to basically spoof. And from that, the recipient of that phone call will think the call is coming from uh, someone when it's actually being originated from someone else. So right now in the industry, one of the best practices or one of the practices to confirm identity has been the callback procedure. Some of the insurance policies that we have even require a callback before funds are initiated. And the challenge is, a lot of times you can't get anyone in real time, so they're calling right. you back. Um, so let's walk through this a second. So we're gonna do two examples, and we'll show you how this works. So Brent has spoof card loaded up on his iPhone, and this is my personal iPhone. And what he's gonna do is he's going to initiate a call to me. So think of me as a buyer in a transaction, or frankly, anyone that is gonna receive a phone call uh, so that funds are initiated from me. So I'm gonna wire in my cash to close. And, and to make this a little more extreme, we're gonna spoof the White House, right? So right. he's gonna set, let me know when you send the call. And we're gonna show you how it shows up on each device. So what he's loading and what I'm receiving to show what this is pulling through. So let me know when you okay, send I'll the call. And here it is, it's coming right through as if it's coming from the main switchboard number of the White House. So the challenge there is, what if this was your company being spoofed to a buyer where the fraudster knows that they're wiring in cash to close and this is simply a ruse to disarm them and trust the information that's gonna follow typically by way of email. Um, so, and then the flip side is also true so we try as an industry, we're calling someone, we leave a message and they call back. And the fraudster knows because they're tracking everything in real time. So they spoof the actual identity of the person and then they make it seem like when they're calling the company back, it's coming from that exact number from that same person. So let's say in this example, um, Lawrence Dutler was the one that, our, our business partner, Lawrence Dutler is the one that is the, the seller that's calling back to confirm wiring information. So set up Lawrence's identity on your phone and we can show another example that, oh, this is coming into my device, could be coming into your switchboard and it looks like it's coming directly from this person that you're expecting a call back uh, in the near term. So okay. let me know. Call us in. Yep, and here you can see, coming right from Lawrence Dutler on his personal cell number, and that matches the number that I called out on. So we wanna make sure that you're aware of this and that the technology exists to actually spoof these devices and these phone calls in real time because the fraudsters understand that this techn technology is out there. It's inexpensive and it's highly effective as the fraudsters move into more of a kinetic state where they're willing to directly engage in the people or the enterprises that they're trying to defraud. So I hope you found this helpful. Please share it, pass it along in your internal and, and marketplace trainings. And until next time, I hope you have, uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you.